Yeah, okay, let's just run that first. Actually, Zach and I are going to play now. Get your ass out of here. All right. Be gone. Get out of here. What's well, good, everybody? I committed to a bad idea, and you know what? Like, I... I'm dumb. It's all good, though. It's all good. <laughs> Thanks for the clip, Rallet. That that's the one to it's one to it's one for the books there. But yeah, man. Like I, that was one of those things where I really kind of, I was committed to that pick. I wanted to use it, and like I, I was cooking earlier. I was cooking earlier with it, and he and I were going pretty even. I just, it did not happen that way. Did not happen that way. Catalina versus Belia. All right, update that. Switch over to the match footage. We're stream running, boys. Believe in victory. Battle one. Yeah, no, he. He pulled out the secret tag, and now like, now we got like the the secondary commentator match. So this is gonna be interesting. Both of them moving on to top eight, or no, the winner of this moves on to top eight. I believe. We'll find out. Yeah. So this is a top eight match for losers. Um, we're gonna probably go all the way up until winners finals from here. Yeah, no, this is literally like, so this is just the co the commentary like kill off gauntlet. It's the vibes are absolutely fucked. Zach in the box gets the SBA, finishes it off. It's all good. Battle two, engage. I seen it early, like this is kind of a battle of like far age, like both of these men are just smashing that bar. You see his Modius. Doesn't go for the doesn't go for the hard knockdown ender, but still gets corner pressure. Good DP from Callisto managing to kind of call out the top man throw, but we'll see how everything goes. And that, you know, a very quick set from Zag in a Box. We already won up. That update the match set Oh! Very good with punish on that into the Asmodeus. Gets to the corner. But still willing to jump out, making a very good decision on that. Face the DP. Now, this isn't dead, but it's close. It's going to hurt. So, Callisto has to be really careful because this is this is a one button, yeah. This is a one touch game. Everything going on there is just absolutely cursed. Battle two. Conversion. I was gonna say, so Callisto's gonna really need to make some adjustments. These have been really fast games for Zach. And I think at this point, things can go very like Catalina is a character that she's not she's not like a very heavy rushdown character. But when she gets the hit, you feel it. This character is very very strong, but like this This is just not working out. Oh! Ah, does not punish the DP. Uh, welcome back, you bum. Oh, played that very badly. Uh, hey, 
So while you were gone, I was kind of thinking, uh, I've got my Tabola excuse ready for tonight. I came to commentate. That was, uh, that was what I came here for. They can't see. I'll buy it. We'll take yeah, it. We'll take it. No, we'll take it. Don't worry. Like, I, you know, ever since we got to offline, well, I've just I'm been moving. I'm in the middle of moving. I gotta be up. Ever ever since we got to offline, you know, I've just been cooking you. I had to give you one. You had to. You gotta make top eight at your own tournament. I gotta be up at six in the morning. I got therapy in the morning. I don't want to hear your like nonsense. Hard if, if you want to come move my shit, I'll go to your session. Let's go. Uh, I don't <laughs> think you'd like my therapist. She's very mean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on to the other side of losers top eight. Gonna be Spaldo coming back up against NJN. Uh, definitely two players who have played a decent amount online uh, prior to the return of offline. Also prior to Spaldo moving up here. I believe he's from the Atlanta area before. Uh, moved up to Crystal Lake recently. Not the Friday the 13th Crystal Lake. Spaldo. The, the white people of Crystal Lake. You know, one thing I got to say, uh, my boy Spaldo took the, took the commentary about his... Uh, about his attire very seriously. Did not wear the hentai shirt. He's a very respectably dressed, handsome yeah, young man. Yeah, uh, they had a word for that back in my day. It's called cowardice. That's what it's fucking called. <laughs> Vassaraga versus Cagliostro. Don't wear the Ahigaho hoodie everywhere, but that's more because that's just a crappy design. Yeah, no, like if you look the white blue shirt. Listen. Dude, I showed up to the closing for my house in a Yuri on Ice shirt. I, like... <laughs> I'm just gonna throw this out there. So like, we're we're pretty sex positive here. Like we're we're not we're not shaming anyone. But if you come in if you come into this local dress like a bum, we're gonna tell you. Yeah, I don't want to see the big baggy jeans over the. Sh if you have expensive shoes and you have the baggy jeans that hang over them, get out of here. Yeah, no. Like, I got my Jordans on. You got your ultra boots. Like, this is the this is the high style society. I didn't rock the. Uh, <laughs> I have those. Don't those, break. Don't don't break the illusion. Shut up. I have those Michael B. Jordan uh, Coach Sharingan shoes. Oh God! Did you wear those? Yeah, I wear them. I just don't. If I think it's gonna rain, I don't wear them. Understandable. <laughs> anyway, Spaldo kind of cooking in the corner. This is rough with no meter, but now Cavs has it. What a jump in! So, by my understanding, this matchup is like kind of cursed for Caglio. Yeah, I mean, he has a three-quarter screen sweep. He can clear traps for oh, hell of yeah. bars. But good use to the SSBA. Choose through all the armor. Gonna lose a little bit of a damage because uh, the armor took a slight bit of it. I believe it's a 40% reduction on armor hits, but NJN able to collect a hit into yeah, the teleport. Really good conversion not from NJN. Like, I I like the way that was handled. Battle two, engage. You know, and nice. the thing about this is, is like that. I don't think this Baldo played that last round. Oh, oh that okay. does not get the conversion. Yeah. But even then, that was a good that was a good grip of hell. Yeah, I think if you're NJN, like your life definitely flashed before your eyes on that one for a moment. <laughs> but he's able to get the wall bounce. Yeah, this is this is where things get kinda kinda dicey. Cagliostro doesn't have the fairy mix, but she's got like her own. Yes, yeah, kinda... right there. I, I actually genuinely do think her mix is a little bit tricky. And there's stuff like Auto combo into EX teleport, which is just a full on pressure Ooh. reset. Most characters that can spend an EX for plus frames yeah. cannot do it. Uh, they can't also be directly in your face, right? Usually they're going to be at that like EX fireball range, that one normal away range. Oh, yeah. Cags can reset pressure. If, she, if you don't get hit, she just auto combo EX teleport. You're holding another low uh, strike low mix. Yeah, and that. And like even offline, that stuff is kind of hard. Oh, to... great use of the float! Just runs out of the corner. Whoop, oh, runs into a teleport. Though. Doesn't really get anything off tackle. that, but this is this is the game Boss wants to play. This is where he wants to be. Good touch. Oh, oh grabs again. Oh, these grabs. This man's disrespecting. Oh, big steppy. Yep, there it is. Gets the low. And Jan trying to move. Yo, my man Spaldo cooking. Alright, we're I, I wanna see where this is going. And you know what I'm curious about is like if we if we see Spaldo take this, like, does the grand come out? Yeah, and yeah, I mean it's not Grand is the most recent deviation from Kegley Show, but NJN has played a lot of characters in the last six months or so. Like this man is a Yadagarasu player. He knows like my man's can play some Shoto. Oh, there's the oh, overhead bait. bait. Big damage here. 
Oh, this got hurt. I, ooh, Doesn't get the conversion. The juggle, maybe a big body thing. Yeah. Like, you gotta... This isn't a game where, like, character-specific combos are super big, but, like, you, de you definitely gotta have your boss combo. Because his big ass will fall out of whatever you do. All right, one round apiece. Spaldo trying to stay alive here. This is match point for NJN. Gets the counter hit sweep opener. Oh, and the 5H, yeah. That's a bully button. That's a, a range that's kind of dangerous for Vasaraga to begin with. Oh. But, uh, Spaldo gonna have to make something happen. He's getting... Yeah, he's kind of getting freed up right now. He's getting, he's getting oppressed by this little girl. Oh, good tech, but it might be too little too late. Yeah. Chip is starting to be an issue. Good spot dodge on the tackle. Yeah, and that's, there it is. that's one of the things, like, once Kag starts putting the chip on you, like, she's got traps, she's got, she can just let that spear rock. Like, you got to be careful. Yeah, and I think that even if her, her mix-up isn't, like, the craziest, but it's easy to panic when you've been blocking for several seconds, right? Yeah, because, like, it, it, you know, it's a lot of it's, like, kind of high-low. Are you using the guard button? Are you doing this? But you got to be careful. It's, it's, it can go real bad real quick. All right. Uh, up next, uh, looks like Yo, we're going to have... Give me, give, me, give me SSK. Give me Yeah, give Zach me a in a box and SSK uh, is going to be up next. Let me make sure Zach is available here. Looks like he's good. Yeah. Here we go. Zach in a box versus SSK. Percival versus Belial. Uh, after that, we're going to have the Cags mirror, Black Eye number five and NJN. Not only do we have offline Grand Blue, but we're also showing the Cags mirror. Like, who has that? So, for those of you all who don't know, like, so I, I think just about anyone in this chat who's watching knows who SSK is, and we know who Zach in a Box is. But like, so the lore of this, this is, I think this is SSK's highest placing so far in, like just in one of these locals. I, I want to say he did get top three one of the waifu domes. He did have a really good day on one of them. Uh, yeah. So SSK, he began coming out to locals like relatively right before the pandemic, like a few yeah, months before. Yeah, he, he showed up a couple of times for Mostly SF5. for Street Fighter V, yeah. He was primarily a Street Fighter V player at that time. Uh, I don't know if he had even really picked up Grand Blue yet at that point. If he did, it was right before we saw it, because I don't remember no, him no, no, being... No, 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 he, he was at SF5 even before this game came out. Yeah, no, but I mean that when this game came out, I don't remember him being in the brackets uh, at Ignite pre... COVID. Uh, well, to be fair, I think we we didn't know. I don't think we ever did a formal Grand Blue bracket. Yeah, bracket. No, we oh. had a few. Oh, did we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know, I know we had a bunch we of stuff. We had like a month before had, oh. before stuff got shot. I know we had down. a bunch of stuff out in Schaumburg, but. We, um, yeah, it was running at GameWorks, but we also had like two at Ignite. Okay, that makes sense. But SSK, like, I, I saw uh, it there, but. SSK definitely has had, uh, you know, over the last year and a half, we've seen him start at, like, the bottom floor of fighting games, right? And have to learn the, the most basic of fundamentals. Had to learn just how to do basic and burns, basic pressure, basic RPS. And he's come a really long way. He's gotten really crispy with his confirms. His yeah, decision making is still aggressive, but he's a young kid, right? Like, that's going to be common in general. And so what I'll say right now, and especially in terms of this, is like, we talked about it with Nobody EXE earlier. Zack in the Box, mostly a, mostly a gear player, hasn't played a lot of Grand Blue as of late, but his level, like his fundamental level as a fighting game player is not something that you really want to, you can't and, sleep on it. And like, Zack has dabbled with most games. He, he's played a bit oh, of dead. pretty much every Tell game. Tell him about it. Uh, not dead, didn't go for the kill, but. Yeah, no, no meter available, but... Has to be really careful right now, because one hit and, like, a confirm for Zack in a Box is... Oh, that's going to do it, yeah. Yeah. And oh, Zack, yeah. you can see there, you talked about Zack just having basic fundamentals. He knows when to keep the, the combo short and efficient, right? When not to, to go for something extended that would be a risk of dropping. Like, all he, like, all he was looking for in that was just... 
did my jump in hit, did I confirm from it, and then once he saw that, that super came out. Oh, come back up. Able to get a party started here. Back it off. You know, and the one, one thing I'll say that I really like seeing here from SSK is he has a really strong willingness here to kind of diversify his approach. You know, we'll see him back off a little bit. We'll see him go for the bait, but when he chooses to go in, like, he... He that's starts. Actually, uh, that's actually the second time that he is challenged after blocking EX Spin Wheel. Uh, and he's ended up getting the hit both times. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a hard knowledge check, and he's passing it. Like, I... We saw that first round, we saw some minor mistakes cause SSK the game. But. Oh, and this time he TP, so I was going to say, I wonder if Zack is going to catch on and try to oh. just stand there and push a button immediately to frame trap. He did. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Zach you gonna swag walk on me? I think Zach maybe In wanted this to sleep and uh, just didn't get down. Uh oh. Uh, not the punish he was yeah, looking for. This is getting a little sloppy. That's all right. SSK just take it a little slow. Oh, oh. big guy in again. Zach whittling oh, away, man, but getting... some of these drops, yeah, definitely costing him a lot of potential damage. Doesn't get the clean hit on that. But oh, big miss confirmed. Here's the mix. What's the mix? I am really surprised we didn't see Zack in a box smash 5 you. I'm legitimately surprised. Uh, he, he also could have just done regular SVA. Usually that's going to be the best oh. the best thing to do back. If you see that SVA come out and you have a forward moving SVA, just let your own rip. It'll it'll win. Believe in victory. Oh man, that is this is getting spicy. Yeah. Good call out on the Lord Strike. Ah. Uh, I feel like <laughs> The, listen, the the intent was there for that. He got the shimmy, didn't convert off of it, but what? I, I think that's, I, I definitely feel like, especially for SSK, there's a little bit of nerves going on right now. He was having a really strong run, especially in that set with Mars. But now he's kind of, he's in the losers bracket. There's a little bit of pressure. The next loss Yeah, but I mean, it. he's still being correct more often than he's not. And Zach, you can see where the rest is showing. He's going to get punished here. And SSK is on match point. Ooh. And I, the I young feel, man. Oh I feel my like gosh. Uh, SSK is sort of fortunate to be in a position where he's not me because Zach can be rusty and beat me because him and I have been playing games together for like a decade. He knows what my habits are. Like we're we're pretty much starting at level five already. And SSK doesn't really have that. Zach doesn't know what the scouting report is on SSK the way he does with someone like me. Yeah, and even like you like he has that with both of us. Me and Zach have been playing for a lot too, and so. You know, but SSK, all Zach really has in that is, like, commentator knowledge and knowing what someone's going to do and having an idea when you're, like, talking about it and then having an idea, like, when you're in the mix. That's where it gets it gets spicy. Yeah, and you still have to execute the, the responses properly. All right, Zach going to get another round up, trying to stay alive here. This is still match point for SSK. Yeah. And, like, if I'm SSK, this is a minor setback. Like, yeah, I, that, that's the danger, right? Zach, as the more experienced player, is less likely to, to be super nervous at this point. SSK, more than likely going to be pretty nervous at the moment because this is a big deal to him, right? He wants to beat Zach. He wants to go further in this top eight. So we'll just... And, like, I'll, I'll be honest, like, especially, like, I'm out, nice. you're out. A lot of the people who, like, SSK really struggles against are out of this bracket. Like... He has a really good shot to at least top three. Nice air to air, and he's doing everything right right now. Oh my uh, god, that was almost such a clutch confirmed. He's gonna get punished for it. Even light. Zach gets the hard knockdown. Let's see what SSK has. He's gonna just take the throw. Honestly, it's fine. I like the patience. Oh, come back grab. This, this is gonna be close. It's all about himself. I think with the scaling, it's not dead. Uh, yeah, but he does have a slight life lead. The big thing do. about that is like he gets he gets the reset. Like he's out. He is out. He doesn't have to like play around Belial stuff and now he can kind of throw fireballs and work around. Like he doesn't have to really And he has stocks and he doesn't need them. The SSK. Young man. Gonna be moving on. Son, come here and get a hug. Come here. You you come here right now. Right now, young man. Come here. Good shit, buddy. Good stuff, man. I'm really proud of you tonight. All right. As you see, Listen, moving man, you on gotta, to our loser semis, where he's gonna. You gotta update the bracket for. Uh, he's gonna play. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. We gotta watch. I got it. Week. I got it covered. Okay. I'm doing all the things. Uh, so he's gonna play the winner. He's gonna play Cagliostro, no matter what, right? Yeah, he's no, gotta this, fight uh, the Cags. we got the we got the Cag mirror. <laughs> 
So this is cursed. He'll be I'm going sorry, up against is... the winner of Black Eye number five and NJN. Looking oh, forward man. to that one. There are not many tournaments literally in the world that could bring you a Cagliostro mirror. Maybe some in Japan. Uh, dude, I don't know. They, this character, this character's cursed. Nerf this woman. This character is busted, OP, broken. This is definitely the worst character that I would be like, yeah, nerf her. Yeah, no. It's like it's like SF5 Fong. Like it's not particularly yeah, yeah, good, right. but fuck but also fuck that character. Yes, fuck uh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I agree with that sentiment 100. percent uh, it's, it's that I feel the exact same way about Lu Luane. Is it's just like, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like that character's busted or good. This is a knowledge check, but fuck them. You know, I, I I I rate my characters on how fucked up their sweep is, and I think uh, unironically, I do think Luane yeah, has like. Luane. A top three or four sweep in the game, dude. He, if you look at the frames, he literally has fairy sweep. The only difference is his slides forward and leaves him at a punishable range if he fucks it up. But it doesn't matter because it's cancelable to plus. Or no, like he can he can cancel it. If he has two, if his two one four is down, then yes, he can't just freely throw out sweep. Other than that, that said, that might be his only good button. Oh no! So we in fact we had talked about this before. NJN playing a lot of different characters in. He's not feeling Yo, the keg mirror. My man does not want to play a mirror. So we, we are saved. We are saved from a top tier mirror. I hate to see it. Like legitimately, you know, busted ass keg, not getting a chance to shine. Just and Grand uh, recently got tuned up a little bit. I think that, uh, you know, after all three Shotos got hit with those season two nerfs, all three of them got, got hit really hard. In the subsequent patches, they gave a lot back to Catalina. They gave a decent amount back to Jita. Both of those two were still really strong. Gran was still a strong character, but definitely the weakest of the three core Shotos. And I think he's kind of back in a good spot now. Now he can throw yeah. up boot, similar to how he used to. They're definitely outside of like shadow. They're outside of the range of like shadow of their former selves. Oh, it's bad. So but one thing I'll say is like I don't, I'm not 100% sure on Black Eye Number Five's decision making there, because he he cornered himself against Grand, and that's the thing you should never. Do. Yeah, Grand has so many tools for big damage in the corner. Ooh. He has the EX boot. Oh my God! Sweep I saw boot. The EX fireball. Uh, five U on counter hit. Still wall bounces because reasons. Oh, the Blaze Blue mix up with grab in your face. That was something that I was most curious to see as we got back into offline, who was going to be reacting properly to whip throw. It's such a, it sounds like such a minor thing, but just punishing someone when they whip a grab instead of reaction teching and getting punished yourself is a huge difference maker in a round. The JU though, smash in the late 2H. Yeah. Little bit early I mean, on the medium. You can see that, you can see right there, Black Eye number five really wanted to nice go check. for, uh, really wanted to get the corner set up. Didn't get it because of the spacing, but oh, it's bad. Gets the clean hit, full animation. And now it's it's guess, and like, all of Grant's cool cooldowns are back. Things are about to get dangerous. Yeah, and all of these late techs are bad for tags because just the amount of life they shave off is real. It's a lot given the amount of health that Black Eye number five has left. But he's able to find a counter hit. He's not going to be able to wall bounce because the two and four H is down. But this might close this the is, rounds anyway. Oh! No! Oh, he didn't. He didn't go it's straight. It's not over yet, but is it? The, Okay, oh. he's able to recollect it. Didn't go sh uh, straight into the SVA off that first button. Oh, you can see it. Like, you can't. I, I can see him. You all can't. Like, my man's over there like, I saw a beat of sweat. That's some danger. Yeah, I mean, you, you never want to realize after the fact that you could have supered, right? Yeah, no, it's just. A little bit too. He was trying to delay to let Grand fall a little bit, but just a little bit too much. Baits out the 2H. Good check by NJN, though. Yeah. And now, we got, Black Eye number five needs to be really careful because he, does, he doesn't need to lose his corner. He does have 2 on 4 H up though, but the JU again finding its mark. Good tech. Good block too. I'm really surprised, honestly, like I'm really surprised we didn't see an Abare VP from Black, or er, from uh, NJ in there. Oh, try to oh, actually combo. Uh. No, honestly, with scaling, that would have been iffy with regular SBA. I don't mind that, but he does need to find oh, a hit. No, that's going to do it. Game one, going to NJN. Finish. 
I don't know. Like, I think with the life deficit, SSBA might have killed in that situation. Yeah, and I guess with the ability to, to lay out the traps and everything, even if not, he could have set up a chip situation maybe, but just something to pocket for later. Absolutely. And that, you know, we said it earlier with, like, some of the, with SSK versus Mars. Like, that, that's not a set that you're like, dang, I got washed. That was a set of, like, I make one or two decisions and I'm good. Like, we're Gucci. I really, you know, one thing I'll say I really like about Black Guy number five is the the use of teleport to kind of bait and whip punish stuff is yeah. really smart. I, I think the other side of that, though, is sometimes, uh, sometimes you just got to go in and, and push your button, right? Yeah, like, sometimes you got to get, get that ass. He'll get blown up by delayed buttons because he committed too hard to baiting a DP. Oh, what a stagger by Nick. Again, didn't commit, but the timing of the frame trap was really good. Good patience, and oh, he gets, gets the hit. knockdown. Gonna spend the bounce. Yo, what's the mix? Hard knockdown into traps. Oh, and the uh. 2L, we can talk about it. I mean. Wake up, Abare. Oh, and the run up sweep, and the EX fireball kept it safe. Oh, oh gets, goes for big it. Big damage, yeah. The conditioning with the throws for uh, NJN yeah, is great. Puts himself on match point. Good spot dodge, keeping that fireball timer down. One thing that is important to remember about fireballs in this game is that oh. if, if you block them or get hit by them, the timer starts restoring immediately, but I if feel you like dodge I, them, the timer won't start until it exits the entire screen. I feel like there's a little bit of flim flammery there, but like, it, it didn't work out, but like, I saw that and I was like, oh, this mix is about to be nasty. So, Baka number five needs to be really careful. Has a substantial life lead right now. Oh, I don't think this will kill, but it's going to put him in a really good situation. So, one of the things that Black Guy number five has to be... That's it. That's it. A little bit of a fist bump there for Black Guy number five. He definitely wanted to stay in this, so able to do so. He's playing this really well. Like, I, I can't sit here and say that there's been, like, a definitive winner in this set. Because Black Guy number five is, like... A lot of his decision making and a lot of his conversions and setups have been really smart. Catch the back dash. Still at a little bit of a life deficit, but Black Knight number five has a lot. Oh, oh man, I thought he was getting. Oh no, was what hard. was that? I don't know if he was trying to get a counter hit there, but oh. the big bait. And he waited low enough for the JU to make sure he could combo on landing. Yeah, that. I actually really like that throw bait. That's really smart from NJN. Yeah. All right, that trap is still there, able to clear it with the 2L. Oh, and again. Oh. Okay, this is fine. He's going to get is... the bounce. Sweep. Oh. Holds onto the SBA. Uh, I, think, I, I think that was an input error. Yeah. At the Both least, of them. overhead probably wasn't what he wanted. Oh, uh, again. It's not going to chip out. Yeah, nice punish too. Nice and easy, 5H super. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, and right now, I think for Black Eye number five, he, he's playing this game well. I think he's just suffering a little bit of nerves, right? There's just some misconversions. Yeah, and like, that's one of the things, it's hard to kind of, it's hard to conceptualize it against Grand because he hits as hard as he does. But, you know, for the majority of that set, Black Eye number five really set the pace and like, kept that life lead. But what happens? Oh, the stagger pressure, oh. though, opening it up. 2H, 5U, yep. Goes for the air reset and the grab, oh. and this is looking real bad for Black Eye yeah, number it. five. That's going to do it. Oh, man, I think. Oh, no, yeah. Oh! oh! So you have to use 2L there. Oh, that the, was... the SBA won't combo from 5L. You have to use 2L if you want to combo to that SBA. Yeah, that was that was just unfortunate. I think what ha I, I definitely think okay. what happened there is like. So like yeah, in that situation, it's I think what happened is like Black Eye Number Five just played a phenomenal set, and I think just like had the momentum, and then that loss at the end of that first round just kind of cut the tie. All right, so. We are going to move back on to the winner's side. Flyerman versus Mars. 
Uh, you know, not the most surprising uh, of the players that we had available. I think there would have been good money on these two being your winner's final uh, at the end of the bracket. Definitely two very strong players. They go back and forth a lot. Uh, Sori's favorable matchup against Fairy. Mars has said so since, you know, season one, since before Sori's got hella buffed. Like, even before the juice, like, the general consensus yeah. is that this character has always really done damage to Fairy. I think even before the general consensus was that, though, Mars felt yeah. strongly about that, that matchup. Uh, that said, Flower Man, over the course of the last, you know, nine months or so, he's worked really hard on his counterplay, not just the Sori's, but to Mars' stories in general, and he's yeah. done a really good job as of recently. Well, that's the kind of thing too. Is like, if you're good, if you can like handle Mars' stories, like he is arguably, and I, you know, and I'm gonna say it, like Mars is probably is Mars is the best Soros player in North America. He's definitely up there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, it's him and Shuabu, and both of them like. The thing I'll say is like both. I, of them, I don't know if he's gonna enter tournaments offline. I will say, uh, Kid Viper stories is disgusting. Oh, that's, he's, he's, that's he's right. Smoked me. You're right. You're right. You're right. Many I, times. But like of of what we would call the active, like I I definitely say that Shuabu and Mars are the two best, and each of them are kind of good at different things. But you know, and this, so the big thing is like definitely like a bad matchup for Fairy. But we've seen Marvin overcome this, like, especially as of late. He's... It's good right yeah, now. I, I can hear it. Yeah. yeah. He's, uh, it's the thing where if you plug... Uh, I think I have it disabled, so it shouldn't do it automatically now. Uh, but if he plugs his earbuds into his pad, it steals the audio from the HDMI because PS4 is wacky. Some players definitely need the audio. I mean, they're, they're, different stuff goes for different players. Flower Man, uh, Flower Man just uses his own music. You know, he's got the got the AirPods for his phone. Flower uh, Man just lives off vi good vibes. I I honestly good I'm vibes and very horny art. I, I'm pretty boomery in terms of my Character needs right now. I'm used to when you had no sound at tournaments regularly. I don't really need sound to play. Uh, that's I mean that's I'm kind of the same way. Like I definitely I I throw music on and just kind of go with it. I'm, I'm like, fine with just crowd noise or whatever. Like, it, it doesn't really affect me. As long as I can see the screen clearly, that's all I need. I can't do the... I, I really can't do the the silence. It, it fucks me up, but... There's some some games and some matchups that are harder. Like, in Street Fighter 4, Akuma was hard because differentiating, like, uh, Demon Flip from a normal jump. Uh, you see. use sound cues for stuff like that. But in Grand Blue, I, I haven't noticed the time where, like, I needed... Uh, you know, sound cue specifically. For the most part, I think this game just has really good fucking music. So that's the biggest loss. Of, yeah, of no, like the there, no there's some, definitely some bangers. Like even, I'll be honest. Like when we had our set, like I, I explicitly set it to that uh, that Uno theme because that's well, a good track. Yeah. Yeah, no, like I had my music, but I wanted to give you all a show. Believe in victory. All right, so this is going to be a three out of five. Is the winner's final? Uh, we've seen these two this go back and forth Marvin's in long sets. Third color of the night. Yeah. Gets the knockdown. Good spot dodge. Recovered in time. Wow, Ooh. he ended up on the other side in the yeah. Game. I, I'm honestly surprised that Soros, I'm, I'm surprised that Mars was able to mash out of that one. I'm surprised that Barry also hit. crossed over. It hit super low. All right, what's the mix? Good block. Even if uh, he actually ended up whipping the JL, but Mars made the correct block on the instant overhead either, either way. Did it again. GG is there for coverage. Yeah, occasion him down, gonna have to block. I like that. Uh, Marvin recognized that he went hard for a few seconds and it was time to stop going hard. And he and pulled so up just in time. This is where this is where things get kinda kinda dangerous because when Torres goes into this install, you see the 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 fist counter on top. For every single one of those he has, he gets like he gets a defensive buff. He takes less damage. Yeah, straight percent modifier that does add to the normal guts, the normal low health modifier that's in the system. It adds up. Uh, Flyer Man though, good route there, able to still find enough damage even with the three defensive stocks. Like if if you get Sora's in the install with like five muscle stocks, he's basically got half health. I really like uh, what Flyer Man did there. It's little stuff like that that's very important to his overall game plan. Taking, Ooh. taking his frame advantage. That buffer just, is. He just ran up. Those buffers are ridiculous. And, uh, 
He's doing a good job of just claiming space to not get in the corner like this. But now that he's in the corner, he's going downhill. Hard knockdown. Blocks it out. And the way Soares works is he really can kind of oppress Barry in a oh, way. Oh, nice. Good option. You cannot absorb supers. Gonna get the animation. I'm pretty sure that's a low. Like, that hits as a low, too. Good chunk of damage, but more importantly, back out to mid-screen. He's got to be careful with these GG calls, though. Gets the overhead. Too low to get the sweep. Trying to stagger. Has to be careful Push with it. that meter. Yeah, pushes Mars straight into... Uh, oh, this oh. is great. Yes. He's not going to kill here, but he is going to get a hard knockdown. Grandpa's health is keeping him alive right now. Chip is an uh. issue, but the close 5M anti-air. Going to close game one here. Very, the very, like... You know, people say, like, this character's bad because, you know, you can RPS jumper with, like, you can RPS jump from a certain range, but, like, then she's got buttons like that where it's just like, this shouldn't anti-air, but it does. I think the big thing for Barry is you just have to choose your tools correctly, which can be hard because she has infinity tools. She has any type of tool you could ask for. Good, uh, good call out from Mark. Honestly, surprised we didn't Good see block. It. So one thing I think is really funny is, so Mar Soros does not get uh, does not get counters for each individual hit of that. Because if he did, that would just be ridiculous. Yeah, he only he only gets one defensive stock per uh, time that he absorbed. It doesn't matter how many hits. If it was a single five U and he absorbed anything, he gets one stock and only one stock. Plus frames, good defense by Mars. Waited it out. Mars has to be really careful right now because at this point, a single 2U is dead. Oh, it's just oh. the shimmy into 5 age. Go for it. Chat's reporting that it's not a low. I I ain't getting hit by it, so regardless. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to hit Marvin enough for him to have SSBA. It's a non-factor to me. <laughs> uh, you're a bum. I'm not. <laughs> I, I can't say that because you wet my ass tonight, but don't worry, I'll get you back. I'll get him back eventually, too. I, I This is this is a bet of my own making. I, I taught him how to beat up Catalina, and now I'm regretting it. Yeah, I, I'm just going to say, like, I deeply regret telling Marvin to stop going in on Ladiva. Like that, uh, I, I made my own bed, man. I hate to see it. Uh, Mop, I'm not sure. Uh, it'll be at least top four. It kind of depends on where the bracket is after Grand Blue. Oh. I think he recovered in time. Yes, that's kind of a slow super if I remember correctly. Actually, no. I do think that one is on the quick side, but in general, you can say jab was, most supers. I was say, that was at a range where just someone's getting got. I want to find out the results. I, uh, my understanding is that there was a exhibition, a Street Fighter 4 match of Elden Shadow versus Killer J, where if Killer J won, he got free entry to Frosties. <laughs> Now, the, the, the main reason that's really funny is Elven Shadow did live in Japan during Street Fighter 4 years, where I'm pretty sure you had to be, like, at least a certain rank to have a driver's license there. <laughs> the first, when it, in one of the old Frosties, before he had moved back here, when he just came back from Japan to run Frosties, he beat my ass with Rose when Street Fighter 4 was my main game, and it definitely was not his. And, you know, Elven Shadow known largely for his guilty grip play. But, uh, man, I kind of, I'm sad that we didn't get to see that because I bet that was a banger. I, I, I did actually think about telling them to run it on. It's just like I said, I gotta, I know we're going to show some Guilty Gear. I got to get the fuck out of here tonight. I have to be up very early tomorrow. I mean, to be fair, we could just say fuck Guilty Gear, but, uh, you know. Believe in victory. I, I think that exhibition is more important. But. It drives the hotness. We got to respect it. Is it? Yes. Go look at go look at the Twitch category. That, that's just all bots. You can't fool. Actually, I get uh, I get more viewers for Grand Blue on my channel just because where else are you gonna see offline Grand Blue right now? I mean, we're, you got offline Grand Blue. You got Hot Boy Summer between the two of us. Like, yeah. What else could you ask for? I know. Like, I'm sorry that there's actual good characters on screen. I didn't mean for that to happen, but you know, we take what we can get. Sometimes you got fairy. Yeah. It, Run of the mix. Is, Goes for the low this time. This is best of five, or three uh, out of five. Yeah, yeah, best of three out of five. Okay. 
Best of three out of five. That's how you say it from now on. Best of three, best out, of three out of five. Best of three out of five. Okay, I I needed the lore. Oh, ooh, five H. You had the stinky leg. Anything off that, but that was ooh. scary. If he'd had if he'd had a uh, rush punch, that could have been bad. I like this approach by Fireman. He's really working on zoning, and we've seen it earlier. Is he's waiting for a rush punch too, because he can low profile it with two M. I don't know about that GG call, though. That's a big risk. That, yeah, that. And we know Mars is really good at reacting. All right, so now you can call GG. Yeah, yes. Now. I, I love that right there. As soon as that dash punch, as soon as that EX timer was down, I mean, he Mar immediately. Mars has to be very careful. Any oh, special ship. will chip him out. Yeah. Yeah. Flower Man going back up. Very clutch decision making by Flower Man to let that GG rip as soon as that rush punch timer was gone so that he was guaranteed the screen control. Yeah, that's what that's one of those things I'll say is like I you know, we, we, we joke about how Marvin begrudgingly plays neutral and just wants to go in. Like when it's time for him to not to when it's time for him nice. to not like just to kind of back off and like chill. He's you know like he identifies the situation very well. So I was only borderline joking when I taught him uh, how to when I said I taught him how to beat up Catalina. He did used to struggle in that matchup, but I only gave him one piece of advice, which was stop doing your punishable moves and do your non-punishable moves. And he listened and he plays safer. He doesn't overextend and he's just grown a ton as a player just off that. Marvin has definitely confirmed a not crack smoker in terms of fighting games. Like he's very Ooh, cool. wow. So Sori's uh, that jump normal covers uh. a space that many characters do not have an air normal that can cover. That little up forward reach that's not a common jump normal angle in Grand Blue. And Myers had a really good call out trying to catch the swing. Flyerman just air blocked. I think so. In that situation, it looked like Fly it looked like Mars did the uh, didn't do the EX rut or the EX uh, dash punch, and I think that's kind of what cost him in that in that uh, exchange. Patient play for both players. That's a big counter hit. Oh, had the conversion, but a little too far. I think he maybe would have needed to done another hit of auto combo in order to get that uh, the two two H there. Or is that a DP input? I don't. I I actually don't know the input of the ground pound. I don't know uh, if it's two two. Ground, ground pound is two two H. Okay. Or is two two X. Yeah. That I do know from where I dabbled with Soros. Mars getting a roundup though, trying to even up the game count. Yeah, Mars. Mars has to be really careful right now because, especially with Fairy, like that character's momentum can go fast. Oh, big jump oh. though. Gets the punish on the five U. Oh. And the kind of an accidental shimmy. He was walking forward, but just not in throw range Ugh. yet. This oh, come bad. on. That move is actually stupid. I mean, I'm glad Fairy's getting beat up by it, but still, that move is stupid. You, nice and, I are, you and I are confirmed Fairy haters. But oh, like, yeah. I've, I've, I've never denied that in my life. Shout outs to uh, male chess enthusiast in the chat, Rallet. Nice. Still had some install. The reverse beat still has to be respected. Marvin has to be, or Mars has to be really careful right now because, like, depending on how this situation Plus frames. Goes. Oh, he jumped away with his plus frames. That was scary. That 5H. That was. That 5H catches. Yeah. Oh, oh, and the frame trap in Flower Man. Think, yeah, he's not shy to challenge in those I, situations. I think he was trying to go for the DP in that situation if I had to make a... No, I, a lot of times he'll... He'll call out you attempting to reset uh, with stagger pressure if your first light is not point blank. He, he'll recognize that sometimes you're going to want to run up and just do another series of L's in order to reestablish closer spacing. Marvin, take a little bit of, take a little bit of a breather there. Yeah, I think he recognized, right? He just said, the, oh, I mashed and I shouldn't have. Oh, this is bad, though. This very early on gets to confirm and in the corner. This is where Mars wants to be. Oh no, that was a big, that was an input error for sure. That's, he did not that's want- not dead. Bro. Yeah, Boy, that howdy. is not the version of the swing that he wanted. I actually believe he wanted a dive kick. Yeah. Mars capitalizing now is on set point. Like Mars is taking the lead for the first time in the set. Caught him trying to move. Good tech, puts GG away. Put, yeah, yeah so because because the two three six was down, that two H he wasn't able to convert that into safety the way he normally would. Mars able to take a turn as soon as he landed because there wasn't really anything to worry about in terms of dialing out a buffer. 
man. Uh, I'm good, thank you. Um, I will have eight liquors on his tab. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We got the cocktail service at Ignite? Let's go. Oh, man. All right, match point, both players. This is hype all around. Cocktail waitress, like... Came through, double checking if I needed food. Ignite, full service. Oh, big bait. Oh, it's got hurt. Doesn't get the full, doesn't get super off of that, but man. Flower Man is in eight. Yeah. Oh, and he tried to close by them and he got stuffed. No. Oh. Oh. Able to recollect it. And Mars. Mars. Yeah, going to sit in the winner's side of grand finals. So we're going down to the loser's fight for the loser's side. This is the last two out of three of the nights. SSK versus Nick, or versus NJN. I was, uh, I mean, a lot of that went back to that choice to challenge the frame trap uh, by Flower Man towards the end of that game four. Uh, overextended just that one time, and then things kind of snowballed from there. Had that input error in the first round, cost him a ton of life. And the thing I'll say is, like, Mars is definitely a stronger player in a longer set. Like, if you you really kind of have to get in and do your damage quick. Because once he starts making adjustments and making like small calculated checks on your pressure, that's when he starts excelling. And with his character, he hits yeah. hard. Yeah, Sori is like, one of the more damaging characters in the game from hits. A lot of it, the air to air conversions are always giant damage, right? The frame traps into 5H are giant damage. He's just got a lot of really good starters. And also it has that 5M, he has a really good kind of solid, far-reaching poke for picking up off of juggles from far away. Yeah, it, it's just one of those situations where, like, you know, you, you'll eat a couple of rush punches in the match. It's not the biggest end of the deal, but, like, once you're in that corner and, like, Grandpa starts swinging, you got to be careful. All right, so we're going to set up our loser semifinal. As Seth mentioned, going to be a two out of three here. It's going to be NJN against SSK. Super Saiyan Kid, uh, I mean, you had said it earlier, right? This is a big opportunity for this him uh, to try to like, break in this top three. In terms of locals, like, you know, I think this is the first time, like, at a local event he's placed this high. You know, oh, yeah, like, for sure. For, for uh, sure. Like, offline in general. Because, yeah. like, I, I, I'm, I, it is not that SSK is a bad player by any means. But just the Chicago very street, inexperienced the Chicago to, Street Fighter scene yeah. is vicious. Like, you get stronger, you get dead. Personal. But right. now he's here in Grand Blue, and he's sitting in top four. And he, Personal. you know, he didn't like he didn't just waltz on in. He didn't he didn't like Personal. he didn't get a fast pass in. Like, this man went through a gauntlet. This matchup too, this can be kind of rough for Kags. Uh, she does have some good buttons for holding on the neutral. She does have some better zoning uh, now that 5U has been tuned up a little. That said, if SSK can get the first knockdown and can run the pressure, Kagli Elstro up until the point that she has meter does not have great options for escaping that pressure. And SSK has been pretty tight, right? NJN, we mentioned his strength, his ability to sort of find that right spot to challenge out of pressure. But that still requires there to be a, sort of a mistake on the opponent's end. That requires there to be a gap for him to press. In. Yeah. Oh, this is a jump in. Resets. Uh, tries to get the grab. Gonna get yeah, some stocks here. Goes for the reset. Trying to get a little bit cheeky, but. Oh, no. Rolls into the 2M. Yeah. That's just kind of gotta be a little bit careful. Because, especially as Cag's get, as Cagliostro gets resources, like. Her damage starts to add up, and she's slowly, like, making her way towards the meter. Big check with the 5H. Does he yes. get the side switch? Yes. Doesn't, Doesn't set off the other trap. Yes. Yeah. Gets put in the pressure, though. Has to be careful. This is still really dangerous. Oh, it's, yeah. So, oh, oh nice. Out. Yes. That's going to be a punish. That's going to be a death. Yeah, Mop, this is like a really kind of funny guy character. She does some goofy stuff. Oh, great anti-air. I think that was 5H? Yeah. I don't know if that's the 5H or the 2H. I th oh, that 2H is the arcing one, so that's 5H. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, did you see the snake? you see the snakey boy? Okay, able to get out of the corner. Yeah, I, I really like SSK's use of five or jump U to kind of navigate. this usage of 2-2H? Yeah. 
Oh, uh, uh, too late on the 2H, but at least he did block the reset yeah. attempt. Yeah, doesn't it? Like, that could have been a lot. Nice. Good block. You do got a challenge, though. That far 5H into EX traps, that is hella fake. You got to push a medium there. You got to push like a 9, 10 frame normal. It's a guaranteed counter hit as well. Uh, gets caught by the low. Okay. And this is, this is what we were talking about. And I think this is going to be one of the things that really defines how this set works. Because SSK is willing. Oh, the Ooh. trade with the EX Fireball. He got it out just in time. This is, uh, this is, I'm sorry, like... Percy's fireball gets to stay on screen even if he gets hit. You gotta hold that. Oh, oh he went for the plus range. Oh, Greedy start. Nice. I, I I respect his decision there to DP. Because especially with how Pagliostro can change her her trajectory in this, that was a very good decision on SSK's part to really kind of cover two options. Yeah. But like I was saying, I think the I think nice the, conversion. I think, like, the kind of story that this set is going to tell is a lot of how SSK is really able to tailor his pressure and work around how confident Nick is to... He's got to be really careful. Oh, oh bad run-in. Yeah. I definitely feel like that was maybe a missed stagger or a missed something. But. No, he was definitely trying to restart, either running up for the 5U or just trying to reset pressure with 5L. Either way, he had to be really careful because Nick had already shown the willingness to, to scout out the command dash and be ready to super it. So yeah. it was going to be hard to pressure him to begin with. And it, so he's definitely around where SSK kind of started off swinging. But, I, you know, we've said it all night. They're barring just... Oh, get, that's a big drop. Oh, oh, and the punish and the DP timer is gone, so he's got to hold this pressure. Yeah, that, Has to watch out for the back throw. Unfortunate. Okay. Good defense here by SSK. Waits his turn. And so this is what I was telling you about. SSK, you know, he'll occasionally end some of his pressure or not spend something because he's because he's a like he's trying to check or he's trying to bait something out. But against Nick, you have to keep your pressure strings not only consistent, but safe. Or else Nick's just going to mash his way out of it. Oh, okay. That's, What's uh, he going to spend here? EX Fireball? One button? SVA? Yes. It's going to be very close. Yeah. Oh. The shimmy and the uh, 5L to close it out. Shimmy, shimmy, ya, shimmy, yay, my man's got him. SSK trying to get a game on the board. Keep in mind, this is only a two out of three. Yeah, no, this SSK has to be really careful because, especially Cagliostro, you know, I wouldn't say this character is necessarily consistent, but if you let her get some stuff started, like, things can spiral out of control very quickly. Nice, good challenge. Yeah, good. Not a real block stream. Going to get the hard knockdown and the side switch. He doesn't have anything available, though. He didn't have any stocks. I don't think DP would have connected there either. He could have done, like, medium or light, but it wouldn't have been a very good knockdown. Yeah, it's it's a situation where I think maybe just kind of letting it rock instead of nice trying, anti -air. To, trying to take pressure would have been rough. But. Gonna go straight into SVA. Only two hits. Not a lot of scaling here. Good damage. That might punish. Uh, oh, no. Not, not quite. Yeah. N S or NJN up on set point. SSK, need, you know, that round definitely got away from SSK. I think he really needs to kind of slow it down and take his... Like, really think about what he needs to do in this situation to bring it on. Because we're seeing a lot of times where Nick is just turning a turning a mountain into a mole, or a molehill into a mountain. Like, things will just... One situation will go bad, and he'll just run wild for a little bit. Oh, no, and SSK ran oh. into the button. Miss space to grab. That Things are going downhill. Unfortunate for SSK right there. Oh, this is that's probably it. Yeah, uh, I think. That's I believe it. he's going to be able to get Spike into the trap, even if he ha didn't need it. But yeah, you know, you always hate it when the hometown hero loses. Still phenomenal showing for yeah, SSK. Yeah. Fourth place tonight. He he did better than both of us because we're bums. Yeah, as you can see it here, that's going to set NJ and NJ and going to move on to face Flower Man. So I'm actually really curious to see what character NJN picks for this because, you know, 
Yeah, I mean, he's shown the Grand before. Grand Hagley, against Fairy, probably more favorable. Uh, and, you know, it, Marvin will tell you that he has, like, a Shoto problem. He does not do well against Yeah. Them. But I... We'll see. I think the big thing, like, right now is that... We've seen this set play out a couple of times. Flower Man has definitely taken it over, especially in the Cagliostro sets. But what happens next can go a lot of different ways. Uh, I think where I in Nick's shoes, I definitely would take, like, I would take Graham because I think in general that's probably a bit more of a favorable matchup. But sometimes you just go with what's comfortable. I think that when you're this far in the tournament, at the least, it's a three out of five, right? You do have some games to give. I would go with your main first and see how it shakes out. And if you get smoked with Cagliostro, then maybe check down to a Shoto. Character select. Cagliostro. See what he's thinking though. No, no, immediate dial in the cast. Yeah, hesitate. didn't even look around. No window shopping. Just no window shopping. Take my money. Like. My man's walked in the dealership, said, I'm going to pay this price, walked out with that car. Oh. This man caring about camera work. Look at this nerd. NJN is what I would refer to as a scoocher. Scoocher? He's a scoocher, scooching out of, the, out of frame. My man does not want to sit still, does not want to be seen. He's just trying to vibe. I don't think we're going to see a different color out of Marvin, so we're, we're capped at three right now. We'll find out, though. Like, My man has not made his choice It's yet. like a mood ring, right? Yeah. You know, it's just how, how he's feeling at the moment. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He, he, he had a cover story that the initial green color pick was because he was hoping I was going to have the battle pass uh, uh, weapon. Wanted, yeah, he wanted that eel and... You know, I we, want it too. I'm, I'm willing to. I, I'll whale them. I, I have no problem just paying the money for the battle pass stuff, but not allowed to. You Can know, you like the the vibes are, fair. the vibes are not good. Yeah, we were just talking about that, Rogue. Like this man's committed, but so this set is a three out of five, and I Nick goes right back in. Victory. I'm curious to see what happens here. One. Engage. Because we've seen we've seen Nick play today, and he's you know he's had a couple of sets where he's gotten by by the skin of his teeth, but he still made it through. And oh, that's unblockable. Uh, yeah, yep. that's unblockable. And again, twice. Oh, and this is yeah. He's got to stay out of the air when GG's out. And notice, like one of the things that's kind of crazy about Barry is just how quick she builds meter. We're 20 seconds yeah. into the match, and she already has to. And JN even caught a little bit of a break there because uh, Farman did the wrong version to GG and threw GG off screen. Yeah. And when Fairy is in this install super, her specials do not restore until it ends. Anything that she uses, she only gets to use once. Blows oh, up the rock. Big counter hit. Oh, it's bad. Maximizing the damage. And he just ran it again. Like, let's ju let's just see if that works again. Oh, good punish. Oh, this is this does not look good. You know, I'm starting to think this matchup's not great for Kags. Yeah. The number of things I've seen 236 go through. Yeah, just watching, watching like, just watching her blow through the rock and just scooping her out like that. It's unfortunate. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's a bit of an unfortunate, uh, bit of an unfortunate situation from NJN, and that that was a quick set. Yeah, but he did uh, he did go right back in, not deterred from the Cagliostro pick, not looking to change at least not right now. Yeah, it's and unfortunate. Like, it, on the oh. one hand, like I really respect his dedication to not like wow. for the pick, but. I think at this point, especially the way these rounds have gone, either we need to see a drastic change from NJN or we need to see a character swap. I think that I think that dive pick actually punished the spot dodge into a full count. Actually, no, he was crouching, so he must have thrown out a crouching normal. Yeah, that was quick. 
But yeah, Fireman making like quick work right 25 now. 25 second round, and that just. Battle two. Engage. I feel like I feel like the way things are going, oh, EJN yeah. isn't even really having a chance to kind of adapt. Like he's getting like. Farman will get a knockdown or get an option very early on and just smother NJN for it. And it's really hard for Cagliostro without a proper reversal to get out or to deal with some of these options. And then she does get in, and Fairy, on the other hand, does have a reversal. Yeah. Oh, oh and the dodge got punished. Knocked down. Not looking good. One mix for your life. Yeah. Good block in the instant overhead, but I hope you're ready for the next four of them. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's that's it. Call it. Game two, going to Flower Man. Going to go up 2-0 here. You know, I, I, I'd i really like to see NJN, one, you know, take a break, go back to character select. Don't, do not match your way right back. Believe in victory. Did exactly that. One. Engage. Committed to the Cagliostro. show. See? You know, I'll, I say, I'll say earlier, like, he's not really good mileage out of the grand pick. I, I don't know if it's just a confidence thing or an adaptation. But oh, no, but he put himself in the corner. He had a really good start so far this round, but yeah, it's the first time we've really seen Nick get to run like a real offensive set, but it's, things are, things are not looking good. Wow, good use Fire of the Man five U. Set point. Yeah, and I mean, uh, and Jan just overextended on the mix up, right? Put himself in the corner. Flower Man picked the right time to challenge. Yeah, it. Sometimes shit just goes wrong, and but if it goes wrong against Fairy, you're guessing in five more situations where it can go worse. Fireman just building meter, yeah, taking yeah, chip. Is. I mean, he wants it. Like a lot of his, a lot of his, a lot of his gameplay in this has just really come down to like getting a really strong mix going. Yeah, and the install super is one of the better ways to do that. So why not try to build that as soon as possible? He's probably gonna do it again right now. No ball, gonna just cash out damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that was kind of a funky hit. But they made that ball super hit more normal, uh, but that was still kind of a weird hit. Those do still happen sometimes. You gotta alter your combo a little bit. Looking bad for NJN right that now. That's not, and, yeah, catches yep. it. Uh, NJN walking out in third place. Yep. Definite improvement over last week where he was out at fifth, or sorry, out at seventh. Good showing for him, for sure. Yeah, top three is not, like, our bracket may be a little bit smaller than something like uh, something like a uh, NLBC or something like that, but there's strong players that just, here, though. That just means you get to the killers quick. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, before they get started, let me run to the restroom real quick. So we're going to have Mars coming back up. Going to be the winner's side of Grand Finals. He'll need to win one three out of five set in order to take the tournament for the night. Flower Man going to have to win one three out of five to bring Mars the Losers with him, and then another one to take the bracket. Long road ahead for him. Winner's Finals was a very tight 3-2. Flower Man was actually mostly in control. He just, uh, at the end of game four, challenged in the wrong spot, kind of got smoked, and uh, then game five uh, got opened up early, and Mars took advantage. Looks like we actually will have a little bit more than the top four of Strive because Flower Man, I believe, is holding up the top eight of Strive anyways. Uh, so we'll just uh, transition to Strive uh, immediately. We'll be starting on the loser side of top eight. Uh, half of it has already been completed. Uh, the other <laughs> So incidentally, if Flower Man wins two matches, he'll get a rematch in loser semis of Strive against Mars, who's currently waiting in that position. First though, gotta deal with Grand Blue. All right, players getting set up here. Coliseum. And Coliseum.
see him? Really? Come on, guys. Sorens versus Fairy. Yeah, I agree. Boo. Boo to Coliseum offline. We've finally been freed from the shackles of Coliseum. Believe in victory. Oh, okay, Battle all right. One. Yeah, Engage. not a real set. They're going to take a moment. All right. They have a chance to redeem themselves. Let's see what they do here. Oh, man, that, that actually worked out perfectly. Character select. Made it back just in time. Oh. Okay. They didn't pick Coliseum, but they did random, so we're still in danger of rolling Coliseum at random. Okay. All right. We got a real stage. We're in there. Absolutely. Mars on the player one side with the oh, stories. Taking the music power up, too. Yeah, I like that how this game handles uh, music choice that both players kind of coin flip for it. Yeah. It means that even when Flower Man steals player one side, he can't get the music pick. Yeah, that's like the first step to beating Flower Man. He's got to take the music away from him. It's like a Tekken, right? Like, I don't care about doing the Rock, Paper, Scissors for side in Tekken. But I ask if the other person does, and if they say, or I ask if they want a specific side, and if they say yes, then I rock, paper, scissors to try to take that away from them. Yeah. Well, you gotta you gotta set up no matter what that way. You get, like, G-Corp helicopter night remix. Oh, nice. A little bit of a pickup off the air. Good patience here. Flower Man doesn't fall for the walk-up. Gets the knockdown. Has some life disadvantage to make up here. And so, for those of you who've, like, if this is your first tournament you've turned into, the way Grand Finals works is Mars only needs to win one best of five set to clinch the tournament. Uh, Flower Man has to win two. One to knock Mars into losers and one to knock nice. and one to eliminate him. Really clutch hit confirm there. The Far 5H straight into SSBA was able to tack on a good chunk of damage and get GG out on the field. Battle two. My man's placing GG down like some sort of, like, <laughs> like game winning magic card. Yeah, it's, it's or, or like an RTS. Gotta get those units. You gotta put some creeps on the board. Oh, good patience. Oh, good. I, good mash out on that. I'm honestly surprised to see, uh, see Flower Man mash out after there, especially seeing his rock smash. Like, I'm pretty sure that was. I think oh, and again, but I may have been wrong. he tried to close 5M anti air there, but it was a little bit too far away. And even in range, Sorry's JH is just a button you don't really want to fuck with without using a real anti air, an EXDP or a 2H. Oh, that's bad. All right, misses out on the super damage, but does get the opening here. Going to get the side switch finally out of the corner, actually. It took a while for Flowerman to be able to fight. Oh, using the light version of the, the 236, a little bit less recovery, maybe a faint. Oh, good use of the, the way down. Yeah. One of Fairy's many war crime buttons. Yeah, somehow a character with such good ground buttons also has nearly total air superiority in terms of her air normals. Oh, on the low, yeah. I was about to say, Flower Man has to be careful because a wake up SSBA from Sora's is death, but that uh, does when, not matter. When he's in install, though, the the Grandpa SBD, that has no invuln. So you can't even really use that as a wake up. Oh, there's the close 5 on anti he was looking for earlier. All right, gets the knockdown. Oh. Mars trying to scramble. It says losers final. Oh, thank you. There we go. There we go. Oh, pretty dominant round from Flower Man. Like it, I think getting sent to losers definitely woke up something. Battle two, engage. Pretty passive start there. Backdash into five H. Using GG just to. 
Re-advance, get some of that real estate back. Wow, big whiff punish. That is a very difficult move to whiff punish. Not much recovery on those up kicks. The late overhead, yeah. So one of the things I think that we're seeing a very strong adjustment from Flower Man in in this particular set is he's not really giving Mars a chance to run a lot of offense. Oh, oh that is going to be enough offense, though. Yeah, no, that's, that's like half health off a of bad interaction. Yeah, CP, no, he gets the side switch in a close 5M. That worked out. Kind of a riskier way to go about it. I, I respect Flower Man on the decision there not to... Not to kind of respect some of Mars' structure there. He's still had install going on. And, you know, the only real option that Mars had in there would have been a wake up S SBA. And even then, that would have been a pretty, like, substantial resource drain. But Fireman taking a pretty quick to up 2 0 in this. Good block. Oh, yeah, still, still Fairy's turn, though. GG was still there. Nice. Gonna cage back down. Built some meter. Fireman sitting on 100, anti-air, yep, mm, EXDB. Bad. However, keep in mind, if Mars can get out, like right now, there is no DP available and there will not be, it won't even begin filling up until now, until that install is done. Yeah, it, you know, Mars, very brave man for just absorbing all of that, but. No, I, I actually really like that play because it was no, guaranteed that Fairy would not have a reversal for a significant amount of time if he could just get away once. Yeah. I. Like, it's a very smart decision, but boy, he paid a lot of health only to go into SSBA with two shots. That's close to all he needs, though. One more touch. If he can get an auto combo, will be a guaranteed SSBA. And so this is what we're seeing. It's kind of how the last set went. Like, a lot of later game adjustments from Mars that wound up paying dividends. But, you know... You gotta you gotta tie the knot. You gotta seal yeah. the deal. If you're Mars, you you gotta that ex or uh, that dive kick out of the corner. Uh, that has hell of recovery on whip, and he has ex rush punch. Like you gotta get that punish. Uh, he went to call it out, and sadly, it did not work out for him. It just got mixed. With, he was standing up, but I think he was just trying to move. The only thing I think, you know, I think Mars has a little bit of a hesitancy right now to burn ex dash punch because both the time, like both this game and the la both this game and earlier, like. We saw him lose that, like, call out GG with a regular dash punch and just get, get stuck yeah. on the fall down. All right, catches the dive kick. Doesn't get the combo for it, but just maintaining the corner is working out really well right now. There's a missed opportunity there from Mars. That I think it's fine, though, because Fairy hasn't gotten away yet, and he's collecting more damage. Oh, this is big, though. Big challenge. Hard knockdown. Back out to mid-screen. Hiding behind GG. Nice timing. Gets the punish. And one thing I think we're starting to see is Mars is definitely starting to kind of pick up on the rhythm of the set. But he's still down two. He's still down two. He has a set to give. But yeah, but I mean, it's a reset point. Yeah. You know, he has a set to give, but do you really want to give that? Oh, he tried to him? jump out too. Hard knockdown. Yes, yes. Mm. Is it? Yeah, and it's enough. And reset. a quick three. Oh. Fireman doesn't want us to go home on time. Oh, uh, you gotta run Strive, but I don't. Anyway, Shen Grand Finals, baby. You know, right. especially after that, like where I'm Mars, I'd probably take a little bit, go back to character select, think about kind of how that went, because. Yeah, and I mean, he looks calm. He doesn't look stressed out right yeah. now. It's definitely just kind of, it, it it's not the best run you could get, but it is what it is. Very. See if he can get some momentum back on his side, though. I mean, the, the winner's final that he won was very back and forth. They were trading games, you know, one to Flower Man, one to Mars, one to Flower Man, one to Mars, and then Mars was able to take two in a row at the end. So, I mean, he hasn't had the best time piecing together a string of wins in general against Flower Man tonight. Uh, but if he's going to find it, now is definitely the time. Yeah, he definitely needs to dig deep right now because that, Believe in victory. you know, we talked about it earlier. That was not a, an 0-3 fight, but it was close. That was, that was an ass with it. And it's a rough start. Got caught crouching, so going to get the 2-3-6-L knockdown. 
Able to get him with the JL though. Establish a little bit of pressure. I no hits yet. There's I one. I respect the commitment to kind of blocking out for invading DP there. In that situation, like if Fairy had gotten the XDP knockdown, that would have been bad. But I'd like Mars to see. Oh, this is, I'd uh, like to see Mars maybe get a little more frisky with the uh, the 63H with the up kick because Fairy, I don't believe, has a fast enough button to punish it on block. No, she doesn't. But Mars has to be really careful because while she doesn't have a, a way to block it, you know, she can definitely take her turn back and set some stuff out. All right. Like it's not punishable, but it's not free. Mars did get around on the board. Plus, sound of pressure still in the corner though. Mars needs to be careful because like good run right, out catches the run out, manages to kind of push corner to corner. Like. Yeah, Bartman made a good mistake for the mo uh, moment, but uh, thanks to uh, thanks to the boys in Cindy and Gaming for the raid. Hope everything's good up in the frozen tundra up there. Yeah, the, like don't don't get eaten by moose. But thank you. But. So one thing I will say, especially in this reset, like we are seeing a very different Mars. Like this is a much more confident, has the life lead. Oh, it's not good. I cursed him, like I, I said it. No, I mean, he still has enough life lead. Gonna burn install here. Barman has to make something happen with this install. This is pretty expensive given the amount of life that he has left. Oh, and things just got worse. Yeah, I like that counter activation. Ooh, uh, that was very scary for Flower Man, just outside of range. And I, I respect, I respect how Mars is like willing to not give up that rush punch, but I, like especially for those GG calls after it's cost him like two games. Like I, oh, yeah. gets the finds that, the that chip. honestly, Flower Man was. He was trying to sneak it in. He was doing the walk back, walk forward, trying to build a little bit of meter. The way things were in that situation, Flower Man, it, it, it was sort of checkmate because he couldn't throw GG because he would get punished by a rush punch. He didn't have meter to really make something happen. Good call, so good call out right there. I think the bait for the DP and then the delay DP on Marvin's behalf was really smart, but now this is where Marvin wants to be. He's got meter. What's the mix? Mars manages to block it out. Retakes, say retakes advantage. Oh, that's going to hurt. Honestly surprised we didn't see a super confirm there, but I think that was right outside of the range where it would have been confident to hit. Oh. Yes, yes. Battle two, engage. Uh, Mars won the last game. Um, I'll update the score now. I got it. Okay. I got, I got it all on here. Oh, this man. Ah. Give a corner pressure gun. Oh, he went with the medium ground pound. Either of the other two would have given a juggle there. I like the decision on that. He had a little bit. He had a bit too much scaling from the way he started that combo, but went ahead and went for the reset into the or into the two two M to kind of get, keep the pressure. Manages to bring it out, and you know we talked about it. I think Mar. I think that break in the go back to character switch really has made gave Mars time to think, and we've seen really strong adjustments from this side. Or put himself in the corner with the dive kick. That's happened a few times now. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's a good starter. Oh, do Grandpa, no. Okay, well, this good is a bummer for Flower Man because there is no install available for Mars right now. I think that was a really good decision on Mars. He, gave, he yeah. put himself in the corner, but the mix that he was about to be put in could have been lethal. You can't do Oh, I think he could have just done EX Rush Punch there. I think he was probably worried about the startup on that and just getting clipped by yeah. the back of it. Like, I I, I, I don't know the frames did. on it. I know that if Fairy just does that to me, I know I can EX Thrust Punish that. 
But I don't know if Rush Punch is slower at that range. I I think in general right now, the more calculated slower the block. from Mars is probably the best option. But he's lost the life lead. Oh, yes. that's unblockable. Yeah, in the air. And he's now it's Flower Man's turn to do nothing. He's trying to top off that meter again, though. That should do yeah, it. Oh, immediately it lets the ball rip. Yes. Did not hesitate. Oh. You know, he probably had an opportunity there to EX punch out, but didn't take it. I I understand it. Like, Mars's defensive stuff really helped him in that game, especially when some of the mix hit. But, you know, we're... This is definitely this is definitely a different game than we saw in, in the first set of Grand Finals. But... Still block. Oh, that's going to be a combo? No, he wasn't crouching, yeah. He's been doing a really good job of using the normal DPs to just cage the forward jump. It's not getting a hit, but it's just keeping stories at bay for a little bit. Yeah, it, it's one of those things. It's like, it's specifically, I think the way he uses it is it's largely as a spacing tool. He'll catch you with it. You can't really have a great punish for it. And so it'll catch jump outs as well. Like yeah. if you jump forward, you're going to get clipped. And if you block it in the air, then that's just better frame advantage for Fairy anyways. Yeah, so. which is weird for that when you think about a DP for frame advantage, but I digress. Oh, oh wow, doesn't care what the mix-up after the <laughs> activation is. Calls out the V-Trigger activation, does not care. That's a whiff punish, yes. Yeah. Slight miss facing there. Fireman, Which trying I, to take I, the lead in the reset. I'm pretty sure even if that situation, if that miss face hadn't happened, Mars would have been pretty minus. I think the exact... Good block. Oh. No counter hit, that was a great time to not push a button by Flower Man there. Yeah, absolutely. Especially like, Soros came down, was plus. Out of there, good escape. Nice roll though, gonna get the punish. Oh, wow. And another good escape. Flower Man's just finding the right time to jump away. That said, we're 30 some seconds into this round. Flower Man's already built the super, and these two have only lost about 15% each. Ugh. Flower Man now gonna eat I a bit more that, damage. That level of like decision making from Mars there, especially in the spacing, was Jeff's kiss. Fucking phenomenal. Oh, that's good. That's dead. That's yeah. dead. Let me call Pack Watch. Really, really important round right now. Trying to determine who's going to take the two to one lead in this reset. Yeah, this has been really neck and neck for both of these players. And I think, I think especially going on, like the person who can take this set and get the momentum is going to have a lot going into that last game. So what could potentially be a last game? Nice, good delay. Waited it out, got the anti-air. I'm surprised close by them came oh! out from there. Oh, that is what we were talking about. This is what Flower Man avoided by not getting counter hit earlier. Oh, he uh. Okay. Still gets hit by it. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I think he tried to get away. Mars, I think, maybe miscounted combo limit there. Yeah, it, it's unfortunate, but, like, it doesn't matter. Like, we take those. Chip is an issue. Yeah, Chip is definitely an issue. Yeah. Fireman has to be careful. I I, I don't agree with him spin, wasting whip to kind of push his stuff out there, because, like, if Mars had chosen to rush punch right behind that, you know, he had the health to put... Mars really had the health to make that gamble. Oh, he didn't believe! Abare! Yeah, he could have gotten the knockdown there maybe, but Mars going to close out that game. He's going to take the 2-1 to one lead. Taking the lead. You know, and especially after that set, like, it... I'm curious to see what Flower Man does in this situation, because that... These have been pretty close, but like when Mars took the lead, he took the lead. So, I mean, that's sort of how the matchup goes. I figure if you're playing Fairy in this matchup, right, you, you don't get bonus points for doing a 70% combo, right? Barman's down the same amount as he was. You just gotta shake it off. Gonna get the knockdown here. Gets the GG pressure started. Yeah, looking for the jump out. I like that right there. So yeah. he knew he couldn't punish. He just didn't do anything. Mars was going to probably spot dodge, and he just waited. Uh, gets the mix. Uh, wow, that's, that's still anti-aired. 
If Mars empty jumped, that might have gotten over. Yeah. I think the thing I, I think the thing there is like Mars got the uh, Mars got the uh, far M. I'm surprised we didn't see a conversion. At least just kind of to run out and install super. Pretty fast round for Flower Man, trying to get back into this set. You know, and honestly, I, too early. If I'm Mars, like I think it's good. I think it's important to kind of try to keep the momentum and not let Marvin get a second win because, especially when things are going on, you know, that last that last game was a, was a real slobber knocker in Mars's favor. So he needs to keep that momentum going. All right, gonna get the hard knockdown here. Gigi not gonna give Oki there, but does let him get back out to mid screen. Already pushed all the way back into the other corner, mostly on block. Yeah, Mars has to be careful. Yes, yes. Too far? Yeah, too far. That. Not getting clipped. This is going to create an unblockable, though. No, he actually just trades. A trade is that trade is definitely more in, Mar in Flower Man's favor, but now Mars has install on Flower Man has to be careful. This can go real south real quick. Great anti-air, but again, the damage modifier, even with just the second stock there, it's ah! enough to it's make that dead. DP it's not too hurt. much. Ooh. Oh, wow. And this is tournament point for Mars. Yeah, tournament point. <laughs> is Flower Man going to get kept out of winning locals for two weeks in a row? <laughs> I like the slower approach from this from Mars. That last set was definitely kind of a real slobber knocker. So taking the slower approach and maybe not rushing into it is a very good, good block. Good to see. What a counter poke too. And Fairy's in the corner. Gonna DP out. I like this ball. This should guarantee that Mars has to back up enough that Fairy can at least get out of the corner. Yeah. Able to get the hit. Wow, the defensive Puts her right back in. That was a huge mistake on the pressure by Flower Man. And now he's in the corner again. Ugh. You know, the way things have been going on, I a lot of these jumps and a lot of these call-outs have been getting blown up by Flower Man. So, like, Mars choose, like, where I'm Mars, I want to choose, like, where I That's going to hurt. Oh. She might be dead. Packwatch going to do it. That's the oh. tournament. One mistake. Grandpa, no. Ouch! That's one of those things. Like, if he's got all that, all those resources on deck, you, you don't need yeah. to play around. You at least you got you got to navigate in ways to not give him the party starter, right? And that was definitely the party starter. Yeah, Mars that. for his part, great conversion. Didn't fumble when it was when the game was on the line. He's able to close it out. He's going to be the champion for tonight. Yeah. So uh, that is not all we have for tonight, though. We are going to take a real short break, uh, and we're going to be back with a top eight-ish. About uh, a couple matches have been played out already. I think we got like uh, it, five, six bracket, matches. I think it was like down to top. It looked like it was down to top. Yeah, four. but Flower Man was holding up one side of top eight. Oh, so. of course. Yeah, as you do. So uh, thanks to Seth for joining me here. Uh, that's going to be it for Grand Blue. We're going to take a real quick break, and we'll be back in just a bit. Hang tight, everyone. Have a good night, guys.